Amazing. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the third episode of the B Talk uh, slash uh, Coffee Break podcast. Um, just to reiterate the goal of this podcast, this podcast is here as a decentralized media platform for the Beehive NFT project, where we are looking at um, co-hosts and guests from people that we know and the whole social group around us. Today's guest is Grace, a one-of-one -one artist in the NFT space, and I'll let her um, introduce herself. What we'll be talking about in this episode, Lyon, is um, how an artist can start up in the NFT space. Grace will tell us uh, the story about her art and her launch, and then in the end, we'll also talk about the space and where artists fit in the space. So, Grace, ahlan wa sahlan. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Who are you? Who uh, are uh, and then we'll get into how you got into the field. Arfina and Halik. Oh, thank you for having me. Hello. Um, it's been. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Grace, by you the way, guys, those? Grace is super excited because. <laughs> um, because I just sold out my like collection right now. So literally five my minutes. My adrenaline is so high, <laughs> and I'm kind of nervous, but I'm super happy, and I'm super happy to be here. Well, we're glad to have you. <laughs> Just a small reminder, the format of the episode is Arab English because that's the target audience that we are uh, heading for. Uh, eh? What was the collection about? Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to start over. My name is Grace Hasrouni. I'm 21 years old. I'm an artist. I've been uh, working on traditional art and then switched to digital art. So uh, I went to the NFT field a few months ago and directly dived in to do my own, uh, one of my, one collection. <laughs> what, what got you into art? Uh, was it you as a person? And then what got you into the NFT space? You know, were, you, were you intrigued with art as a kid? Or at some point in your life, I've been into art and I've been drawing for, for literally as long as I remember. So. I had it in me since I was a kid, and it grew with me. So, uh, and what got me into the NFT space because uh, the love of the art and the love of the technology together, uh, I couldn't resist not diving in. And then, was your art always space themed? Was spaced out? Because we'll we'll get into what you dropped and the whole collection, and also how you thought about dropping it and the whole uh, mindset that you had, what all art, but because your art is now space themed and uh, you released it on International Women's Day yeah. and this is recorded a day after International Women's Day, so sorry if we're late, but uh, happy, happy International yeah, Women's Day. <laughs> for, uh, why the space theme and how the space theme was your art always this way? Um, I've been, actually I'm obsessed with aliens to start. Why? <laughs> So I've been drawing aliens and spacey stuff for a while now. It's part of my brand identity. So I had to get the alien character into my collection. <laughs> and at the same time, I wanted to add a personal message. So uh, I thought of woman empowerment. And then every single piece is? A spaced woman. <laughs> exactly. And then every single piece also represents a? Uh, a story behind every woman and it's kind of a message and uh, for, for women to resonate with, to unleash their femininity and to, to just be free and wild with no bias and yeah. judge. Sounds, sounds super cool. Again, let's, let's dial this back Shway, a bit to um, what was your first art like and did you ever imagine as a kid إنه غريس أدرى توصل لمحل where حيكون في شيء اسمه ال NFT in the space and that's the thing that's joining us right now as a community manager and as a host for this podcast as well and as a one of one artist have you did young Grace ever imagine إنه ممكن حدا يوصل لهال point I think this is a dream life for young Grace عن جد لأنه it's it's something I never imagined إنه I can do to fully monetize my passion Go ahead, go ahead. And uh, I've been working towards uh, turning my art and uh, into a full-time job, but it wasn't very easy before NFTs. Why? يعني هذا السؤال إنه why before NFTs one of one artists ما أدرين to get the exposure and to get the leverage and to get maybe the skill set. 
and then why with NFTs صار فينا ال one of one artists مثلك انت to get a bigger push through NFTs being a tool اول شيء انه in Lebanon especially انه selling art is hard people aren't uh, into buying art they don't think it's something you know, valuable so I used to sell my paintings but I didn't get a lot of clients and it was hard to brand and find the right clients like you're in real life paintings وشو كانت اكثر صعوبات انت عم بتواجهيها Is to market, you can quote unquote your art. Yes, exactly, and to exactly the marketing to reach the people that are interested in buying art, which aren't in our close circle, maybe. So this is this was the obstacle. Oh, with NFTs, we have a huge pool of collectors and pool of people that are really interested. So, so صارت أهيان أكيد. ووو ما بدنا نمسى بزات الوقت إنه. Everyone goes into the space for a specific reason. Exactly. يعني the gamer أمرار بفوت على space for gamified NFTs. Mm. ويمكن the passive incomer and the passive income gurus يلي هلا هيدي الكلمة جنة على العالم mm. also go into the space because of that. But as well, a lot of people مثل ما كنت أنت عم تحكي are art collectors quote unquote. Yes. وفاتوا على space because they can now support their favorite artists through uh, uh, through buying their art. مثل ما أنت عم تحكي and it's also easier for the artist to sell the. the exactly. صارت لانه صار في بلاتفورمز مثل اوبن سي لانه صار في غير عن هيك ذا ان اف تي بينج ا تول بحد ذاتها اتس ا تول اند اتس تكنولوجي عملت السيلينج ارت مور سكيور فور ارتست دي هاف بيور اونر شيب اوف ذير ارت وفيهم يستفيدوا فروم سكندري سيلز ويتش نيفر هابند ان ريل لايف اند اولسو ما نحكي سوبر فير فور ذا ارتست نحكي انه whether you're a, a music artist or a graphic designer او شو ما كان تكون ان ذا تراديشنال سنس اوف ثينجز انا برايي كمان شيء لللد حتى نرتاح ان ذا ان ذا تراديشنال سنس اوف ثينجز كان في كيف بدي اقول سورت اوف ا هايراركي اوف اوكي اف وي توكينج اباوت ذا ميوزك اندستري ليبل نيدز تو تيك برسنتجز اوف ذا ارتست اند ذن ذا ريكوردينج كومباني اند ذن سو اون سو فورث اند ذن ذا بلوج هاف بيور اونر شيب از ا ميوزك ارتست اور از اني اذر ارتست يعني اوسو قبل ما نفوت in detail اكثر انتو ذا ان اف تي كوز اي فيل وير 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 سورت اوف جامبينج ذا ستوري بيهايند ذس بعرف انه انت يو هاف يور اون بيرسونال سوشيال ميديا بلاتفورم اند اولسو يو اوبن اب ا سوشيال ميديا بلاتفورم فور يور ارت اي شو يعني فور يور ارت نوت 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 سبيسيفيكلي ذا ان اف تي ارت كان عندي كيا من قبل ففيك تفسر لنا واتس ذا ستوري اند واي ديد يو بيك سوشيال ميديا وشو لاحظتي ذا دروباكس يمكن اوف سوشيال ميديا او شو اللي ضايقك بالسوشيال ميديا اجمالا أول شيء I opened my art page كان اسمه Spaced Grace ما كان اسمه Spaced, Spaced Out. Out it wasn't it wasn't uh, the goal wasn't to brand it and sell it was just me I wanted to share my art وما كان بدي أفلق العالم على my personal like page. a place for you to show yeah. your art so I was just posting my sketches أو هيك freely talking about art ما كان في uh, marketing to sell بعدين with time I started to paint Oh, someone was interested to buy. Like to buy like physical, physical art. art. I, I used to paint on customized uh, boxes and stuff and paintings. So I told the client that I'm interested to buy. I said, I changed the equation. I changed my perspective. And uh, there are people who might want to buy my art. And what's, so, what's been one good memory from before? Uh, 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 you w- went into the NFT space. We came and you know what's been one bad memory, as well, or like or like just a uh, general bad experience in general. This first person who wanted to buy my art told me to he wanted to customize a box. Okay. And the box was, uh, yeah, just a box. It was, was, a, it, it was a wooden box. So I made a design on it, and that's and then the person ghosted me. So he didn't buy it. So he ordered it. So <laughs> he, he ordered, ordered it. it. And he didn't buy it. Oh, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't an expert. فما كنت عارفة إنه كيف بدي أرجع حقي. فخلص إنه تركته. And the box stayed in my room for like five months. And then I decided, you know, خلص I want to post about this box. بارك شيء حدا بيشتريه غيره. فا. بس. Sorry, I'm at shock at all times because how how we want this format. تبع البي توك يكون انه اخذوا عطا بين الجاست والهوست وهيك جاست ستوري تيلينج ان جنرال فانا غرامي هون اوقف واشرب اند تو سيب ماي كوب اوف بي هاي فلات مثل ما بيقولوا اند تو جاست ليسن تو يو تيلينج ستوريز ديد ات برينج يو داون 
انه حدا طلب من عندي بس ما اشترى وانا مثل ما كنت عم تحكي اوكي شو بدي اعمل وما ننسى بذات الوقت الازمه اللي قاطعه بلبنان وغير عن هيك اتس اولسو فيري اكسبنسيف فور ارتستس تو باي ذا ماتيريال ذات دي يوز تو اكشلي بينت ذا ذا فيزيكال ثينجز اند اف وير توكينج ابوت ابوت ديجيتال ارت مانا رخيصه حدا يشتري لابتوب او حدا يشتري ايباد او حدا يشتري شو ما كان اند ذن وات ار ذا تولز ذات يو يوز قبل وهلا وايه جست كاري اون وذ ذا ستوري اوكي سو اكيد ات بروت مي داون لانه يعني فور ا سكند اي ثوت انه اوكي اي جوت ذا كلاينت بات ذن انه لا سو وين اي بوستد اجان اباوت ات ا لوت اوف بيبل وير انترستد سو ذس واز ذا تشينجينج بوينت انه اي I started selling. So you posted, you know, okay, guys, we have an item. Literally, Manbe. I just said, you know, a guy wanted to buy it and he didn't. So is anyone interested to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> I the reaction. was very genuine. Yeah. And the reaction was super amazing. And you know, so many people liked the box. And uh, I started getting clients. So I switched my page. So to a more like a business page. Art. And I started selling real life art. Okay. Uh, what's the real life art that, that you do? And, and also to all of our uh, listeners slash community members, <laughs> go follow Grace on social media. And go follow all of our guests on social media, actually. We have a lot of uh, Heike hyped up and very, very nice guests. As usual, booked. Uh, we expect you guys from the Beehive and outside of the Beehive to support every single guest we have up here. For these guys are one of one artists, and these guys are uh, these guys are girls. I'm thinking, I'm 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 Uh, and to keep the NFT space clean, which is also a topic for another episode. Yeah, super important topic, by the way. Which is which is really a very important topic. Hello, Grace, I'm little page, oh, so on and so forth. And the first item got ordered, um, and there, and there was support and reaction from the community. Kif taarafte al NFT space, and then how did you think about? Okay, I want to drop my first NFT art, and also. Let's let's just finish with this because I have tons of questions about, about the, the value of art <laughs> and is art subjective? <laughs> How did you get into the NFT space? Okay, so when I started the paintings, then I switched a bit to digital art. So I started doing illustrations. Then randomly, uh, actually it's because of Gary Fee, that's the real The real answer. He's you know, the Gary real OG. The, the OG. So when I saw his uh, him dropping the V Friends collection, I was very curious to know, you know what is this thing, you know, NFTs. But at that time, I didn't know you know about crypto. I I didn't have any crypto, or I was afraid to put my money. And buy crypto لأنه بلكي راحوا ليه؟ again ليه؟ يعني كان في مثلا كتير حكي كان في وكان في awareness was there talks going around إنه okay guys تبهوا الكريبتو سكام مثلا ايه exactly حتى إنه بلبنان ما كانوا يصدقوا إنه الكريبتو it's real it's a real currency يعني and and بس تقعد شيك just for the audience as well to share my humble knowledge مثل ما بيقولوا إنه حتى ثلاث ارباع العالم اللي فاتوا على ان اف تي سبيس وير كريبتو ويلز كوت اون كوت بالاول ذاتس واي وي سي ا فيري لو نمبر اوف اوف اوبن سي يوزرز اند ذات اند ذاتس واي وي سي ا فيري هاي فوليوم لانه في عالم فات من الكريبتو ذات هاف ذير كريبتو كرنسي اند ذات هاف اول اوف ذات فاتينا على سبيس بس اتس ماتش ديفرنت فور ا بيرسون مثلك اللي فات فور ذا انوفيشن وفات خي انه انا خي ما عندي كريبتو ما بعرف لا كيف متى ماسك بتمشي ولا كيف والتس بتمشي هاو كان اي بينفيت فروم ذا سبيس So, how can artists benefit from this space? So, uh, <laughs> sorry guys, by the way, I'm not sure. Just to make sure, so we, so we don't roll this again, because it's always way, way more authentic as a Tatla one roll. Eh, carry on. Fa, I uh, I discovered that uh, no, we can buy and sell art through NFTs, and it took me a while to get into the space. Yani, basically, last December. I totally went in and decided you know, خلص, I want to put my full focus on this, on research and uh, to work on it to see how I can you know, put my benefit. art into it and benefit. 
So since December, I was uh, working and I was thinking of, you know, I want to launch a collection, but you know, I couldn't do it directly. I need to build uh, connections and uh, find the right people, know how to start, where to start, where to Can't you think about to launch a big collection and like you being an artist for a big collection? Well, was it always, I want to do... And I'm probably one of ones, but also it's a very low supply. You know, the, the, the art collection that, that you dropped, which we will talk about, is like what, 10? Yes, 10, 10 pieces. pieces. So was it, was it Grace will work as an artist, as a bit for a collection, for a project, while Grace as an individual will shine? Like, I didn't know, but I knew, you know, I wanted to do something. And I didn't have, you know, I didn't have the decision before, you know, what am I going, where is the path taking me? Sort of, I thought that life is going to open up your door, and you're going to open up your door. I'm going to go in, whatever comes, you know, I will take it. So, uh, I met a lot of people, you know, in the Lebanese circle that were working on projects. So, I was super interested, and I told you know, I want to work with you. So, from where these people, تعرفت على a bigger circle وجيت على actually beehive تعرفت عليك thank you thank you thank you <laughs> so uh, هيك شوي شوي انه my connections grew وتعرفت at the same time على uh, artists solo artists solo artists yes. I know that you guys also do twitter spaces and yeah. I know that you guys are doing an amazing work because Also, what Twitter Spaces is about is just it's, it's about getting to know each other and interacting. with It's also a very important platform for one of one artists who, مثل ما كنا عم نحكي, to sort of expose themselves as well. مع إنه a lot of people are trying to ride the wave and like open up like fake giveaways and do like fake come There promote are a your lot art. Of fake things in the space. <laughs> and scammers. But eh, you know, what I saw with few solo artists who they actually sold. I told them. Oh, I can do that too. You know, why not give it a try? فقلت إنه أكيد بدها تكون خاصة بماي identity مثل ما حكينا. Which is spaced ف... out. Spaced uh-huh. out. طب, uh, moving on to another idea that yeah. I also like, but I feel the best people to talk about this is artists, because art بحد ذاته is very subjective. True. يعني نحنا إذا عم نحكي عن projects and I love this project. I always use it as an example. Blockchain miners. Mm. Blockchain miners, Laele, are the first project that gave objective value to the NFT. Because NFT is generating passive income, Laelcon. And if any of you guys want to know more about projects like these, we also we all, we do, maybe all courses, but we do events, we do cases, we really like take projects and talk about them. So yeah, join the Discord, uh, be active to on our spaces, on our events. But back to the question, art is very subjective, and that's where the value is. And also, NFTs as a whole are very subjective. Grace, أول ما فت على NFT space, كان تفهمين إنه what's the value of an NFT? ولا كنت مفكرة إنه okay, right click, save as JPEG, مثل العادي, مثل كل هالعالم. And then شوي شوي بتتفتح على الفيل بتطلع إنه لا. مثلاً هلا Grace, if you want to reward your holders again, you know who they are, and you can possibly give them a cheaper mint on one of your next arts. فيك تعمل هيك أساس, cause These are quote unquote your loyal supporters. These are people that bought the art for the subjective value in it because they liked it and then are showing support to you guys. So I have to, to, to give you. back value. And then you as an artist can identify who your loyal supporters exactly. are. Fa, fa, what's the value in that and what's the value in art in general for you? So uh, selling as a solo artist is so much different than selling in a generative project that has a roadmap and utilities. Fa, How is it different? A lot of artists come and think, and you know, why would people buy from me? Like, you know, it's just art. And does this bring artists down? Of course it does. Kill artists and artist insecurity in them, and you know, fear of not selling, fear of people not liking my art. But you know, once you get into the space and you see that there are people that are generally interested in supporting artists, بكون هيدا مثل بوش انه تو جيف ات تراي اند شو ذا بيبل ماي ارت بس بذات الوقت انه انه تو مي مثلا انا اي سولد هلا ماي كولكشن اي فيل انه اتس نوت اوفر هير انه اي ونت تو جيف باك تو ذا بيبل هو بوت فروم مي اي ونت تو ورك مور ميبي دروب انذر كولكشن فايند بوسيبيلتي اوف ادينج ا يوتيليتي لانه ذس از وات ذا سبيس از اباوت تيكينج اند جيفينج اتس نوت I also love what you're doing is taking things slowly. Yeah. Yani, um, collections and artists that we see that rush things 
and drop like a hundred piece art or a thousand piece art and then they don't sell out because they although NFTs is a stronger tool but they don't necessarily know how to generate the demand true I every artist should take it slowly as a fate of fear as you said how are you gonna find all these people you have to grow your community slowly but then I know it's a snowball effect definitely so you have to start slow and un- and know where are you going and you know come in and without uh, without knowing what's your next step hello also a very important question and i've been thinking about this by the way kill the what no do people buy your art for the art or do people buy the art to support you yani yani bas ta hatta fassir ta hatta man kun am nqul anno art manno mniha wa yakul aks your art looks amazing the 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 alien theme is really 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 awesome bas is it fa'liyan anno alam am tashtaha al art yani if it was the same art piece bas mish grace waraha i think it's a bit of both exactly and then i want you to i want to also ask you about kif al artist pours himself or herself into their art and how important is that and how important is an artist's identity an artist's style an artist's touch bil bil art li hu bi amla important and actually why? it's the most important thing lano bas trofone guys hek yarjat la wara wa shabat mic nas kafe khalas yani ana bkhun bada isma fa yalla carry carry on is an artist is not doing something and putting part of him in it ma ha yaaraf ano yawsal lal alam the idea behind it really Oh, people buy art for two reasons. I believe you know, they feel something towards that piece. Or they connect with the artist himself or herself. So no one would, in a very rarely, would a person look at something and decide to buy it with no story behind it. Or, you know, it happens, but you know, it's more likely you know, to buy it with the story behind it. Do you feel Do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with that. Hatta ana bada illik anno... If, you know, I cannot compare to big NFT collections, but if people like the vibe of the community, yes. LA, I can sort of relate that to the vibe of the artist. Exactly. And also it's very important for people, لأنه, 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 it's subjective again, again, and that's what NFTs are for me. They're very subjective. Again, people need to relate to the art cool. and also people need to relate to the artist. You know, I've seen a collection where the artist is colorblind had uh, for you as an wow. so so the artist is colorblind okay so he draws his art in very high contrast لانه هو ما في شوفه للارت because he's colorblind yeah. and you know how much this resonated with people Ex- it's loveless city it's sorry the the project is called loveless city their advisor I is bondum <laughs> it's great art um يعني بتتخيلي قديش انا a person that i consider myself i'm not artsy abadan 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 i really related to 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 this guy انه انا بس طلعت على الارت شفت الاول it's very colorful it's very bright but then i understood انه wow this is bright because the guy is colorblind and because he's colorblind he inspires you actually definitely definitely and انه بتتحمس انه i want to buy this art لانه this person هيدي قصته وهيدي قصه الارت تبعه for it's really important to know how to integrate your art with your identity and uh, this is how the marketing and the branding of your work would grow also مازال عم نحكي عن الهاو very basically what did you do from the basic things of opening a metamask wallet to listing them on open sea was it a mint was it an open sea sale uh, uh, um What did you think about it? يعني بس انت قررتي انه انا بدي اعملها auction ولا انا بدي اعملها sale and then again guys Grace is super hyped يعني her whole collection بعد شي واحد بس auction ويمكن بعد ما يطلع هالفيديو يكونوا طاروا hopefully literally five minutes before we started this she received three like three buy- one buyer that bought three items so four actually four items actually so How did you do it? Very basically, to the people who don't know how to may, may, maybe create their own. You know, for you draw them first application, and then you 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 want you sell them on OpenSea and on secondary markets. And how does it work in general? Hala, the cool thing about NFTs is that there's not a specific medium or software to use. And you can use whatever you want. It can be a picture, but for artists, 
you can use any software. And I use Procreate on my iPad. But then uh, I put them on OpenSea. Alton. A lot of artists use other softwares. Oh, I keep like to use MetaMask, or to use VPN, or to use I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a complicated <laughs> process at the beginning, but you'll get the hack of it. Yeah. Okay, and then close the piece. You <laughs> generated the, the art. What do you do to sell it? Okay, I put them on OpenSea. I listed them for sale. Oh, uh, then you have to do the marketing to sell it. And this is the hard part, actually. Yes, <laughs> that's that's the part I, w- yeah, I want to talk about. them is the easiest part. Okay, and how did you market your art? If if you, you know, if sh- sh- yeah, I would love you to share this with us. You know, what did you do to market your art? Mm. Was it word of mouth? Like, you know, best ten pieces. Was there uh, uh, pages for your art? Was there specific events dedicated? I know you had a big launch party on Twitter Spaces. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, we should have attended big time, but. What happened? And how did you market it? Since you know, we talked about you know, I had the art page, I already have a small community on Instagram and people that follow me on my personal account that already know, you know I'm an artist and you know, I'm cooking something. <laughs> Always cooking something. If I already had that build, or it was you know, for two years I've been building my, my art identity. Community, quote-unquote community. I already had that. So I've I downloaded Twitter. Awal ma taraft ta NFTs. La anu Twitter is super important. Guys, please. Kunas bo Twitter. Mesh ghair heke. Walla bezgal ana. Yani stop getting stop getting your NFT info from Instagram. Akid, if it's one of one artists, just like Grace, visit lo at Instagram. Yeah, but it's NFT pages. Exactly. Instagram is a good platform, and we'll also talk about. Uh, we'll, we'll also try to get a guest on on how to market your NFT yeah. and how to launch a brand, so on and so forth. Uh, Instagram is shit for me because it's basically paid. Yeah, you know, if a collection with no utility and no value can go ahead and get money and just pay pages to post, and then Twitter at the same time focuses on interaction more than information. Yeah, you know, Grace, ma betkhayal enti you could have interacted with your community as much as you do on Twitter. Regardless, is a few alam that transition to Twitter. Or if no be libnen bil mantaa anna, people still like Instagram and they don't like Twitter because it's We're easier. Very used Because it's easier content. خلاص صورة تخديها ما في tweet و thread وهذا عمل reply. أول شيء بتضيع بتويتر يعني في spaces بعدين في groups بعدين في chat وفي tweets. But you know it's super easy. خصوصا إذا you're going into Twitter for the NFT. في NFT community دغري بتدعمك يعني ما بتلحق تحط شيء عن NFT بتلاقي كل العالم إنه they're engaging و they're very supportive عن جد. Oh, uh, so I did the Twitter space and I on the art in general and we every artwork itself. And also, uh, it's also it's very important for you as an artist to be present in other spaces yes. and in other communities as well. So how did you do, how did you do that? So I finished my Twitter space, then Rata Insta because I can't let down the Insta people. Definitely, because <laughs> most of your audience is there. Because yeah. like I already built my audience. And uh, people don't transition mm. well into True. Twitter. True. And into Discord, guys, please. Uh, Discord. <laughs> I, f- I still find Discord pretty hard. <laughs> But I also did a short Instagram live. Oh, uh, my actually my first three collectors were from Instagram. From Instagram. Were people that I I already know. My fourth, uh, I have no idea who is the collector. I love you though. <laughs> We all love you for supporting one of one artists. And then uh, I moved back to Twitter and uh, talked in several Twitter spaces. Uh, Yesterday was Women's Day, so there were a lot of spaces dedicated, dedicated. to women. Yeah. Fa- and then you talk about your art, you, inter- you interact with other artists, and this is how you find your collector, yani by just telling your story. And this is what I did. Um, is there any specific message that you would like to say to your collector? Since this is, quote-unquote, the first uh, uh, shooting, or, or, or the first time that Saure, from after you released the art, right? Yani yeah. you, you did your Twitter space, امبارح, and then you, you switched to Instagram, and then you went to other spaces. But is there something, I, I know you most probably are going to share this on your page as well, like a big thank you to everyone who bought the NFTs. Yeah, also course. a big thank you to the community. <laughs> I know you, you're very supportive of your own community. But is there something in specific to not only your 
your holders as I'm Nahki, but also anyone that want to support one of one artists coming from a one of one artist and what's the importance of doing that as well? I think people that are not artists don't realize how you know, how huge is the feeling when, when someone buys their art. And I'm how how huge is it? It's very you know I can't describe it but you know you feel like you know you did something and that something came from from you, from your heart and someone like gave gave it its value someone related to related it related to it and actually bought it you know to support you and your art they believed in you and uh, i i think you know i i have to give back to the people that support is there my art. is there any uh, plans that you have or she fi fikra belik on how to give back for now i'm still brainstorming i know i Honestly, I didn't expect to sell out in less than 24 hours. Yeah, so, it's uh, fine. Show us your smile. <laughs> Show us your smile I on cam. And no, I, I'm in a shock way. But it's not going to be a shock. Today, I'm going to see what I want to do. To thank these people and to give yeah. back to them. Um, it's really amazing ano, ano how artists ano, they put like one piece of art and then ano, they tell... You know, and you tell your story and then someone that could be a stranger and you know, relates to it and it's actually inspiring and you, know, you find that someone you know, that relates to your art. Again, the question <laughs> is coming up repetitively. Uh, whether it's... Okay, so we talked about this as well in a very short snippet of episode one. You know, do people relate to the art? Do people relate to the community or do, do they relate to the artist? This question already yeah. but, uh, 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 I also want to ask you something. Do you feel people would have been disengaged if it wasn't digital art and if it wasn't NFTs? And do you feel people uh, would be engaged Akhtar, if they knew more about you, if they knew less about you? Uh, uh, yani, what do you feel would have happened if this wasn't an NFT drop? Okay, what happened because this is an NFT job? Because it's an NFT, there is a hype over NFTs. Especially in my circle, not a lot of people are integrated. The circle that I know, I have new friends in the NFT space. All of us, all of us have. I have a group of NFT friends and group of my Real life old friend. At this, guys, come more from the audience and from Grace, come in. So I'll tell you, come more. You'll be known in the world in the NFT space, and on Discord, and on Twitter. Yeah, and it's finished. It's zero. No. And you'll see them face to face, and you're like, you don't realize, man. I have so many friends that I know for two months in the space. Exactly. And I don't know who they are in real life. You'll be able to see them. Bro, sometimes you don't know their real name, or and if we call them their. Virtual, virtual tag. name و an NFT as a PFT وخلص هيدا الشخص الرفيق okay and ف... also one other uh, question I know I'm hitting you with very fast <laughs> questions here um, the IP rights of the art mm. and the monetization of the art quote unquote I know the art is in the hands of the holders and they can resell it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as an NFT uh, creator, you can, you have no control over that unless yeah. there's something in the smart contract. But what if someone wants to create merchandise with your art? Do they have the right? Do they have the IP rights? Can they monetize it? Because that's a question that's also coming كثير بهالفترة بال NFT space. No, okay, I bought the NFT, but what what can I do with it? What's the rights that I have? I oh. think you know, it comes back to every artist. Fi artists be you know, uh, uh, like straight off the bat. Uh, you know, if you buy my art, you are free to to sell you know, merchandise or do whatever you want with it. So it can be a kind of a utility. You know, once I'm buying this, I have the right to do that. But fi artists uh, you know, on that thing. Plus, you know, it's the right way is is taking uh, the okay from the artist uh, also the artist being completely honest and transparent yes and uh, there ha- there have to be transparency between the artist and the and the holders and uh, the holder is is free to flip the art why it's a win win lal artist to lal holder why is it a win win hatta hek and khalis sort of wrap wrap up the last couple of minutes of the episode talking about uh, royalties. royalties. What are royalties? Royalties are 
a percentage that that artists keep when having a secondary sales like with Fasru. Okay, and what's the importance of royalties for you as an artist? Uh, as an artist, Anna, as a Hanatis brief example, I sold my real life painting and I have no idea what he or she did to it. And you don't know where it is where and it you don't is. know who the owner. Exactly. It, can you please compare selling your physical piece of art and imagine if it was the same art but on a physical canvas and imagine the same art as an NFT. What are the pros and what are the cons? I think this is a very nice way Hick, to have a last question Akid, yeah. before I tell you any last words, mm-hmm. but uh, uh, hey, could you compare selling physical art and the pros to selling digital art and selling it as NFTs and the, and the pros as well? Okay, the pros of physical art is that people sometimes love tangible stuff. Like I can see it, I can put it in my house, I can visualize the art in real life. And, uh, but at the same time, you know, مثل ما قلت انه I sold it to that person and I can that person can resell it and I don't get back my right as the real owner yeah, as, the, as the real creator, creator of, exactly. of the art so when I sell my NFT and secondary sales happen on OpenSea or any other platform I you know I have uh, shu- royalties uh, royalties exactly. so I get a percentage of the secondary sales that can be between 2.5 to 10 percent. Even if you imagine, anyone can put as, as much royalties as they, as they want. 10 percent. Okay, so th- there's a maximum. Okay, so that's open C as well. Um, yeah, also, I think everyone's also very angry at open C. But I don't know as artists you are. Like, but uh, also, let's, let's also talk about this. There are a lot of red flags happening with open C. People want to to switch to other platforms. Like, هلا في في a lot of of platforms, but people are used to open I know it's user friendly. It has its pros. I say because it has its the first movers advantage. Come in. يعني not to advertise anything, but rareable. Uh, مثلاً. I know it's a very unpopular place, but I think it's much better to sell one of one art. أهم من هيك looks rare. Why, uh, looks same on looks rare. Uh, Anna, I uh, I'm looking to I'm looking into looks rare, but I think you know uh, you have to. You know, مش حي لحدا في بدك تقدم. Of course. Uh, known uh, origins come in. Of uh, course. So uh, artists have to send an application, and then when they are accepted, you can sell there. في foundation come in. في في a lot of uh, platforms. عصيرة الفاونديشنز في انتيتيز سلاش جروبس عم تطلع بالسبيس ذات سبورت ون اوف ون ارتستس يعني مثلا لايك سورت اوف ان ارتست كولكتيف اذا بدك تحكي اند ميبي ليتر اون ذس كود بيلد انتو ثينجز لايك ان ارت ماركت بليس فور ارتستس ذس كود بيلد انتو ا كوميونيتي قصدك انه اسمه الجنريتيف بروجيكتس عن الارت لا انا قصدي انه يكون في انتيتي معينه ذات سبورتس ون اوف ون ارتستس اند ذات ماركتس يور ورك and that does all of that اكيد مش charity ما حدا فاتح كاريتاس باخر النهار يعني بس انه is there a place where one of one art, is there a place or an entity where one of one artists can go to i think this is needed and if not uh, 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 don't you think artists could be a bit lost هلا uh, each platform is very different انه ما في شيء هيك سبيسيفيك انه انه that one of one artists be to go to انه no, specifically لانه they are solo artists Uh, each platform has their pros and cons. So, few platforms are now working on them. They are not the only So, they are not the only platforms. But in the beginning, there are many cons. For example, OpenSea, even though the other platforms have a lot of things that looks rare, it's good. Rarible. I said, okay. But there is a lazy minting on OpenSea. You don't pay for fees every time. Okay, and, and, and how, how important is lazy minting for you? Actually, you're you, you lazy minted, no? Yeah. Okay. So Can you explain, uh, Hicke, to wrap it up, what's lazy minting? What's normal minting? And why is it beneficial for you as an artist? As an artist, because I'm on OpenSea, I listed my first, paint, uh, first artwork. و I paid the gas fee وخلصت يعني. You paid the gas fee not to mint but to list صح؟ لا to mint. Okay. I can. لا اثنين. 
Okay, so you you, you <laughs> paid <laughs> guess man <laughs> guess so on one time and uh, one time guess on ETH better. I'll be I'll be as me on the kill. I know what I minted. Tear can water. Guess how much I paid. But this only came in so all gear. Did you do the minting on OpenSea? <laughs> so this doesn't necessarily need la a smart contract ولا no, no, no. it's something by OpenSea. I don't need anything. When I nazalt the bawe, I don't pay anything. On other platforms, akil artwork, I have to pay to mint it. Ah, all right, all right. Difference. All right. Okay, so how much gas did you pay? Ah, uh, twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, it's very good. It's, it's very, very good. good. Maybe some friends, uh, other artists paid eighty to a hundred, if not more. I don't know. Maybe like two years later, people will look back. It's like twenty dollars. <laughs> شو؟ بتكون نزلت ايف 2.0 مثلا وانحلت ازمتنا او بتكون ليف باي باي هلا ايف 2.0 اتس بين ا وايل يعني عم نسمع بس انه ما في شيء انه اتس نوت هابينينج اذا اذا بدك واتس اب اه روق روق بس بس نفس ايه نفس وايف 2.0 روق 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 برادر رواق توك مع اجلي بس يلا ما عادش فينا هول يعني هيدي الكات ما لازم كنا نعملها خلص اخر جمله سو ايف 2.0 اي ديفينتلي 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 شود كم سون و ميبي بيبل ويل لوك باك ات ذس ابيسود لايك ا يير اور تو ليتر اند لاف ات اس قديش كان الجاز في عالي بس ايه سو جست تو رابت اب Do you have any last words before we thank you for this amazing, amazing, amazing episode? I know we jumped around topics because that's how it is. We talked about everything. Because that's how it is in the NFT space and that's how we want our coffee talks to be. Yes, you can give us knowledge and you did give us knowledge and and your perspective as an artist, but it's also nice to see what an artist thinks about OpenSea and what an artist thinks about collections. So uh, do you have any last words? Do you have any last uh, tips or any guidance to give to one of one artists on what to do, what not to do, what to be scared of, what not to be scared of? Um, I, I, I want to say to all artists who are curious or want to dive in, don't hesitate, just go for it. And uh, I'm here to help, and a lot of other artists are there to help if you have any questions or have difficulties kicking off. Oh, uh, other than that, uh, there is plenty of opportunities for artists and other than artists, so just go for it. Jump in. <laughs> Jump in. So yeah. And uh, thank you for having me. Great talk. It was a big pleasure, big, big, big pleasure, Grace. Uh, yani, I know you could have about the NFT space, yeah. so uh, it's been a big pleasure as well, on cam and off cam. Um, thank you for this amazing episode. Elf, 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 mabrook al launch tabake. I hope you're super hyped. بعد في حبة to sell out عم نقول yes one last one hopefully by the time this episode is out it would have sold out guys you can always reach out to Grace you can always reach out to the Beehive follow Grace on on her socials follow the Beehive on our socials join our discord server this was episode 3 talking about artists talking about one of one arts and how NFT can can also help in this space we jumped around different topics but that's just how it is in the Beehive We're just bees buzzing around. A bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys. And all, as always, Crabman out. Stay tuned for the next episode. Love you all.